Hey everybody, welcome to the RevitKit.com. So today I'm going to show you a, another method to create step footings. I personally find it to actually be an easier method. Um, and it also takes advantage of the actual structural footings, which some of you might not know about, but they also have an analytical model built into them, which can be used to grab some information out of, do some analysis, etc. So what I have here is a simple 12-inch retaining, retaining wall. So I'm going to select that. It's just a 12-inch wall. First, I'm going to give it a footing. So I simply go into the structure tab. I go to wall, wall foundation. I'm just going to go to the wall. I'm going to hold, press tab so it selects it all and then click. So now I have my footing. So I have a simple wall with a simple footing. Now my floor plans, I already added some reference plans here. These are just at two feet on center. No specific reason why they're at two feet on center. Just typical. Um, now I'm going to go to my elevation. So here's my reference plans. Now I'm going to simply split the wall using the split tool. Uh, the keyboard shortcut is SL, or on the Modify tab, it is over here. One of these buttons, I don't even remember because I barely use it anymore. Uh, it's over here. The Split tool. There, there it is. Split. SL. <clears throat> so you just type SL, and then I'm going to split the wall close to reference planes. Hopefully it's on the reference planes. It might not be exactly, but it looks like it's pretty close. We can adjust that afterwards. So I'm just splitting the wall to the reference plane. Now I'm going to grab each one of these walls. Better yet, let's just grab one at a time. I'm going to offset the base by one foot. Offset this base by two foot, three feet, etc. So all it's doing is bumping up the um, where am I at? Four feet. Bumping up the base of the wall. So if I go in 3D, you can see here's the wall. I actually should have set those reference planes at three feet because they won the six inch overlap. So let's Let's readjust this here. I'm going to delete those. I'm going to use CO for copy. I'm going to use CO for copy. I'm going to say multiple. I'm just going to go three feet. Let's go over here. Three feet, three feet, three feet. Okay. So I'm going to go back to my elevation. Let me turn on the color so it looks a little better here. And now I'm just going to align that reference plane to that wall and so on and so forth. So let's go from here first to here, align to here. Sorry about that. Okay. So now there's some very simple ways to do this. If we go in 3D, we can actually change this uh, footing type. Actually, you know what? Let's bring this wall and this wall up to their level. Let's go five feet. Now we're way up there. Cool. Okay, so let's select these footings. No, we don't need to select that one. And now I'm going to edit the type. And the reason I'm doing this is I'm actually going to edit the extension. So if I go under here, there's actually a parameter already built in called extension. So I'm going to duplicate. I actually use a bearing footing, but that's it. I'm going to duplicate it, and let's call this one stepped. Okay, step footing. Now I'm going to do the default extension length equals one foot. Click apply. Okay, now you can see we automatically have step footings. And it's as simple as that. And now these are actually footing, footings. Um, what that extension length did, if you grab the footing, see these blue dots, you can actually manually grab all this, which is what I've done in the past, but I think creating a family helps a little more. Because um, then if you edit the thickness or something like that, for instance, if I wanted to make this a uh, two foot deep for some reason, click apply. You can see it edits that, but it doesn't affect this, which is nice. So you can see that's very easy, very simple, a lot easier than building an in-place model, and you can actually utilize the analytical model. So I hope that helped out. Uh, thanks, Andrew, for the email, and I will talk to you guys soon.